Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Hattest channel. In the second episode of GATE 2023 series, we're going to talk about which is the right order of subjects that you have to prepare for GATE. So this is for electrical and it is based on a lot of factors including the past year trends. So the very first subject is a no-brainer, obviously it is networks. So why is that? There are three major reasons for that. The first reason is that it is easy. Second reason is that it has good enough weightage in the GATE paper. That means you will get sizable amount of marks. And the third and most important reason is that it is the basics for other subjects. That means if you're good with networks, then you can be good with other subjects. If your basics in networks is not strong enough, then you will face a problem with others understanding other subjects as well. So these are the three main reasons why you should start network first. And also, in addition, what happens is the subject that you first start, you might forget over time, right? That, that happens. It's very natural. But with networks, since it is the concepts of networks, you will be using in other subjects subjects as well like machines and power systems, analog, the conceptual clarity that you have with networks it's only gonna increase with time. So doing it first is not gonna become a disadvantage in terms of network, you're not gonna forget it. The second subject that you should prepare is machines. Now machines is probably the one subject which almost will never betray you. That has been happening for the last three to four years. In fact, if you see the past year trends, you will see that a minimum of 10 to 11 marks are given for machines. So it will never betray you. And in the beginning of the preparation, you are sort of in a more relaxed manner. You're not hurried to complete the, complete the subjects. So since machines is a vast and a complex subject, it needs that uh, sort of comfortable and an easygoing relaxed mindset to prepare. So it is ideal to prepare at the beginning itself. But yes, there is one disadvantage that you might forget the concepts over time. So the one way in which you can address this disadvantage is that you can give test series, subject test series of machines over time. Like once you give it in October, another you give it in December, give in December. So in this way, you will be able to recollect or revise machines from time to time so that the concepts you're not going to forget. Now, what is the third subject that you have to prepare? Now, the third subject is not exactly one subject. I will give you a list of three subjects. You can choose any one of them. And that is control systems, signals and systems, power electronics. So you can term these three as one particular group. Okay. Why is that? Because all these subjects are not very vast. That means the size of syllabus is not very big. It's small enough. And their weightage is good enough. Mid-range weightage. So what happens is you can spend less time on it and you can get good benefit, good enough weightage for it. So these three, I will club it into one particular group, you can see. So you can pick any one subject depending on which is most easy for you, which is most accessible for you, and you can complete that particular subject. So that is the third subject. So the next subject that you have to prepare is electromagnetic field theory. So the subject is sort of like a boon if you are already good with electromagnetic theory from your 11th and 12th classes. If you're not good with it, yes, you might find it a little difficult, but it remains that the subject is very, very small and the weightage that you get for that small subject, that proportion is a very rewarding proportion. That means only this much of syllabus, but this many amount of marks, three to four marks, right? So fourth subject should be electromagnetic field theory. And the next subject, the fifth subject, is maths. Now maths is the subject which has almost the highest weightage. It will carry 14 to 15 marks definitely. But I'm still asking you to read it as the fifth subject because you need to remember the concepts. So it is ideally placed right in between. That is not in the very beginning and not at the very last. So that you will have all the advantage of not forgetting, forgetting it over time and also you will have enough time for it. So these are the five subjects which are very important for you. It will define a lot of things. Your preparation, it will define your preparation. I'm not saying the other subjects are not important, but the way in which you give time and you give energy for these five subjects is gonna decide the rest of your preparation phase. After these five subjects, there are six subjects remaining, right? Excluding aptitude. 
Now, out of these six subjects, the ideal order is to complete first the group that I told, right? Control system signals and systems power electronics. You've completed one out of these three previously. Now, the other two you can complete now first, and then you can focus on power systems, and then finally analog. These four subjects are once again very important, and they almost carry the same weightage okay and you can interchange them remember this is not a rigid thing okay so what are the factors that you should consider as to these four subjects in which order you have to do it is based on the comfort level which subject you find easy and the time available how much time is available if there is too less time then you cannot spend too much time on power system so you will push it to the last so this is one factor and finally also the resources that are available to you if you're going for coaching but the coaching in the coaching that particular subject have has not been taught well so it is a sort of you cannot spend more time on it because you're not good with it and if you're self preparing then you might not have proper resources for a particular subject so these are all the factors that you have to consider based on which you can decide for yourself which is the right order for you these four subjects okay and finally digital and measurements measurements should be at the last because digital and measurements they're not carrying too much weightage they are still important because these concepts sometimes a question might be asked which is relating measurements and networks so you need to have a working knowledge of measurements and digital but still you can keep it to the last so this is the ideal order of subjects that you should be preparing for this is based on a lot of past year trends and research and experience as well and of course like always once again it is your choice if you feel like something is not working out for you then you have to uh, cut it out in a way that is suitable for you hope you found this video helpful and if you do like it then remember to like share and subscribe and do comment as well